Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Parker. I'm a lecturer at London Met University in coaching and counselling. And I regularly deliver the skills on this programme to hospitals, GP practices, medical schools throughout the world. And I've created this at this time because I know you're doing amazing work and I want to do whatever we can to support you in staying well, staying sane, staying healthy as you support everybody else. So I hope you find it useful. We're going to cover three major things. First thing is how to take care of yourself. So I'm going to give you some skills on how you can de-stress, deal with overwhelm, get to sleep, stuff like that might be really useful. Secondly, we're going to look at how do you deal with other people. You and I know dealing with other people sometimes can be tricky, whether they're on your team or dealing client facing and finding extra skills to make it easier to manage that. And thirdly, we're going to be looking at some additional skills, some of which you may know and some of which may be completely new to you on how to help your patients and support your patients. So little tricks and tips that you might find really, really helpful. Certainly other people that I've worked with in the medical field find them really invaluable. Uh, I do hope you enjoy it. If there's anything you think, oh, I wish you'd cover that, then drop me an email, phil at philparker.org, and uh, we'll see if we can include them in future episodes. Uh, in a minute, we're going to start with the very first episode, which is going to be how to increase your levels of calmness in just a few minutes. It's going to last between five and ten minutes, but you can drop in and drop out a bit at any point. Ideally, listen to it with your headphones on, a place you're not going to be disturbed. That's not always possible, I know. Um, and I'm going to start it in the next episode rather than now, so you don't have to listen to me waffling on about introducing the course. So you can just listen to it separately. It'll be, you know, just that episode will be just how to be calm. And the more you listen to it, the easier it will be for you to increase your levels of calmness. And we know that being calm is a really, really important thing, not just for your mental well-being and your cognitive function, but also for your immune system, because, of course, long term stress is not good for our immune system function. So anything you can do to calm yourself down whilst you're managing this very difficult situation would be really good for you, but also good for your health. So see you on the next episode.